There's been an increased investment in new hydropower plants which incorporate the latest technologies. A new plant at Nantes de Dance in Switzerland has been equipped by GE Renewable Energy Hydro Solutions and recently began commissioning at full capacity. We went to find out how this new plant is playing a vital role in stabilising the electricity grid throughout Europe. For many people around the world, it's easy to take electricity for granted. But to do that, we need reliable power plants. And there's a growing awareness that this needs to be clean energy. The UN has called the goal of carbon neutrality by 2050 the world's most urgent mission. Now, here in the Swiss Alps, what at first glance might appear to just be two beautiful reservoirs could hold the key to this challenge. Deep underground, the Nonde de Rance hydropower plant is at the forefront of producing reliable and clean energy. Pump storage hydropower is incredibly important for the transition to clean energy because it basically helps mitigate the effects from intermittent power generation such as wind and solar in terms of grid stability but also in terms of storage of power. Hydropower is really going to facilitate that growth that is needed from renewable energy. Getting to net zero by 2050 without hydropower, I think it's almost impossible. It is the most efficient form of power generation and storage in terms of energy used to build a power plant and then that power plant giving back the energy during its lifetime because it's got such a long lifetime. So I think what we need to do is for investors to understand the long-term vision here and to really buy into that long-term vision. Commissioned in 2020 and due to operate commercially from 2022, the plant is situated between two reservoirs and uses pump storage to balance the natural fluctuations of other renewable energy sources such as solar and wind and the variations in consumption. But how does pump storage hydropower work? What it does is, is similar to what the sun is doing. The sun is evaporating water, bringing it up to the clouds where it stores this potential energy. And then when it rains, it comes down again. Those machines, they're doing the same. We can pump the water up to the upper reservoir. And when we need the energy, we release it and turbine it and bring it down to the lower reservoir and can produce energy. You can start the six machines within two minutes. Compared to a thermal power plant that needs quarter of an hour or an hour or even more, that's really quick. So it's order of magnitude, a nuclear power plant that can be added or taken away from the grid. And that's really fast. Not only is it fast, but GE Hydro Solutions' cutting-edge variable speed technology brings an additional benefit. This is the top of a variable speed pump turbine. Now, in addition to making the grid more stable, the machines themselves allow for a more efficient cycle. The three features of this power plant from Nantes de Brance is really predictability, flexibility and efficiency. All this is brought by the technology on the machines. This allows really to support the grid in the right way, balancing the production and the consumption. This power plant is like a natural uh, giant, I would say, battery. Uh, the total output is 900 megawatts, which is equivalent to a large nuclear power station. So we are connected here to the uh, local uh, connection of Swiss grid, but we can influence not only Switzerland, but I would say part of Europe. And as demand for electricity in Europe and across the globe continues to grow, it's clear that it's crucial we can find the answers to making electricity more cleanly. The fast and efficient system in operation at Nantes de Drance demonstrates how a new generation of hydropower plants could be developed and the key role they could play in achieving net zero by 2050.